This is YG TV and YG Workshop, presented by First Federal Bank and sponsored by Circle Electric and Health Payment Systems. I'm your host, David Bellman, president of Bellman Homes. YG Workshop is a collaborative environment designed to help businesses see their blind spots, consider new perspectives, and grow toward their goals. Today, my team and I are collaborating to help Angela Lingle and Jeff Godbout of Brass Light Gallery. Let's meet the panel. Hi, I'm Arielle Kopak with Harness for Hindrance. I help business owners and sales professionals take control of the hindrances of their business by identifying their mental and emotional roadblocks. Hi, I'm Lori Hybe, president and owner of Keystone Click. We're a strategic digital marketing agency helping our clients build brand awareness, generate leads, and nurture those opportunities online. Hi, I'm Mervyn Bird. I am a Vistage Chair. I run a CEO peer advisory group here in the greater Milwaukee area. And today we're helping Angela and Jeff from Brass Light Gallery. Welcome to YG Workshop. How are you doing today? Doing wonderful. Thank you for having us. Doing great. Thank you. Thank you for being on. So uh, tell us a little bit about Brass Light Gallery. How did you guys start? And then what makes you guys different from other lighting companies? Sure, I'll start. So Brass Light Gallery has been in business for 47 years. We got our start in the vintage lighting business when Stefan Kanuski, our founder, would go to rummage sales and flea markets, antique shops, find vintage lighting that he liked, fix it up, clean it up, and sell it to discerning clients in the Milwaukee metro area, primarily, and then eventually throughout the Midwest. And that changed one day when he was asked by a client to make a replica of an existing fixture they had so they could have a matching pair. And being a young guy in his early 20s with zero manufacturing experience, he said, Absolutely, we can make this life. <laughs> Why experience. not, right? Yeah, so he went back to his parents' garage with his first employee, who I believe is still in high school at the time, and they made the first brass light gallery light fixture. And um, they manufactured other light fixtures in that garage, eventually moved through various um, facilities throughout Milwaukee uh, to where we landed in, uh, on St. Paul Avenue right now. And so we've been manufacturing lighting ever since. And um, we are 100% solid brass, made in USA, right here in Milwaukee. And the two things that we are most known for, you know, we make light fixtures for every application of a home. But what we're most known for are exterior lanterns, which we have an, an example of here. And they are solid brass. They literally start as a solid sheet of brass and are cut, formed, molded, um, bent, welded, and metal finished, paired with the finest American sheet glass and um, they're second to none on the market. And then the other thing that we're most known for is our alabaster. And so our alabaster is um, genuine stone quarried in Spain to our specifications. And it's brought here and we make all the fittings and um, it's truly jewelry for your home when you see it. Very nice. So uh, I love the story, first of all, by the way, um, the, the out of the garage thing, that's always just a cool story. So yeah. we're gonna dog ear that, we'll talk about that later. But Angela, you're the lighting lady, and uh, that's what you're known for. Now you've joined Brass Light Gallery recently, so tell us a little bit about your background. Um, thank you very much, David. I've been involved in lighting for just about 10 years, primarily on the exterior side and helping people enjoy their home when they come home and make the very most of it. And so I've always appreciated light, lighting beautiful lighting and now i've had the opportunity to join the brass light gallery and i'm so proud to do so because they're not only made in the united states they're made in the in milwaukee and jeff mentioned that they're made out of solid brass but they're also made to order so when a customer comes to brass light gallery we help them pick out the design, the finish. We factor in how high's the ceiling, how high's the table, what glass would work best in that application, and then we make that fixture for them. And so everything is made to order in Milwaukee. And so I'm so very proud of that 
So to be able to join Brass Light Gallery and incorporate my love for lighting um, has just been a dream come true for me. So Fantastic. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, uh, I know you guys didn't come here just to chat. You guys have some questions about your business that you want some answers for. Unfortunately, we have some very smart people here that are going to be able to help you. So uh, what is your most pressing question uh, for Brass Light Gallery? Yeah, so despite being in business for 47 years, having clients throughout the country and the world, we still hear every single week, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful I found you. I didn't know you existed. And so, you know, <laughs> I, I know so many businesses are faced with the same challenge. Like you have a wonderful product, you do wonderful things, you know, we have a hand, truly handmade product, but so many people still do not know we exist. So we're here to um, impart to see if you guys can give us some guidance on how to continue to get the message of Light Gallery out. Okay, so your question is uh, kind of how, how to get more people to know about Brass Light Gallery. Right, as the okay. quality alternative made in USA light fixtures on the market. Okay, that's a great question. And we are gonna get to that in just a moment, but in order to really answer your question properly, we need to ask you guys some more questions. We gotta learn a little bit more about your business. And I know our panel is uh, excited and itching to uh, learn a little bit more <laughs> about your company. So who, sure. who has a question? Who would like to start? I would be happy to start. Lord, all right, sounds good. Fantastic story. I love the history. I've heard of Brass Lake Gallery for many years, driven past it on the freeway. Mm -hmm. Didn't know the backstory. So thank you for sharing that. Um, I didn't know you were global. I think that's great. So one of the things I would like to ask is, have you identified any trends amongst the people that are saying this, that they didn't know that you exist? There, so there's a huge emphasis on people who are looking for quality. They go to traditional lighting stores and they say everything looks the same. Um, the quality is not there. It looks like it's not going to last. So our clients are usually looking for something that they know is going to last a lifetime or that is made in the United States. Those are two very common things we hear from our customers. Thank you. We're just getting started. Let's take a quick break and come back for more with Angela Lingle and Jeff Godbout. This episode of YG Workshop presented by First Federal Bank is brought to you by Health Payment Systems and Circle Electric. Welcome to First Federal Bank of Wisconsin. Here at the bank, we pride ourselves on providing the community bank difference. To us, it's more than a tagline. It's how we serve our customers and support our communities. When you work with us, you can expect quick local decision making, a great customer experience, and a significant community commitment. As experts in the products and services we provide, we are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Proudly serving the Milwaukee metropolitan area since 1922, we look forward to serving you and showing you what the community bank difference is all about. For more than 80% of families, today's medical billing practices are confusing. At HPS, our goal is to improve the healthcare experience for the patient by making medical bill payments less stressful. In Wisconsin, that's all made possible by our comprehensive independent healthcare provider network. We simplify billing and lower costs for everyone involved in healthcare and offer various ways for individuals to pay without breaking the bank. Circle Electric is a 35 year commercial, industrial, and healthcare electrical contractor with engineers and designers on staff, backed by the most technical and well trained master and journeyman electricians. Whether it's an equipment move, new building, or commercial remodel, from pre-construction all the way through startup, primary power, branch power, or low voltage systems, they are here to support you. Our 24-7 on-call service department is here to meet your electrical needs for our industrial and healthcare customers. You always hear safety first. They are safety always. Circle Electric will maintain electrical reliability for business continuity. Ariel, you look like you got a question. Always. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you've currently done before we kind of dig in a little deeper and give advice as to thoughts on how to get the message out? What is it that you've already done to share with people about Brass Light Gallery, the quality, and what markets in particular, those who are looking for quality, are there any markets geographically or um, as far as the type of homes that you're installing in what's what's your market and what have you already done to market to them sure well one thing we do have is a wonderful showroom that's open daily and on saturdays 
So once we get somebody uh, that is in our showroom, we can tell the story and show our fixtures. So um, that is something that we're promoting on a regular basis. Locally is our showroom. We're also working hard to form relationships with builders as well as um, architects, landscape architects and landscapers because they're working with the homeowners on a regular basis, helping it look its very best. And that's when Brass Lake Gallery can be a good resource. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on a more national um, basis, we've been investing heavily the last two years in social media advertising, mm -hmm. um, Facebook and Instagram, as well as email marketing. So um, the markets that we serve, we still have a huge emphasis in the Midwest, Milwaukee, uh, north, um, northeastern suburbs of Chicago. And then we have a big concentration on the East Coast and in the LA area. Yeah, so it kind of touched on what my question was as, as it pertains to what are you doing with builders, remodelers, interior designers, and those sorts of people. Mm -hmm. So t give me an idea then, what does that look, you said you're working hard to, for, what does that look like right now? What are those relationships like and what are you doing to market through those? Sure. Um, thank you very much for that question. One thing that we were, re were in the process of, of completing is a relationship with Rinders, and they're a local distributor. They have, I believe, 14 stores in Wisconsin, Northern Illinois, and Minnesota. And they are going to start carrying our peer lights and our post lights because it really helps them with a the need that they have. Um, and so we're in the process of making the most of that relationship and promoting that through their website and then have a landing page from there that will go to our website and help them with further lines and, and let them know the other fixtures that are available. Um, as far as builders and um, remodelers and architects, a lot of that is done through networking just reaching out and trying to introduce myself and be a resource and explain what sets Brass Light Gallery apart. So, and then when I do have a wonderful connection, um, making the most of that and, and really trying to um, meet the people that are also involved in that project and share the information on Brass Light Gallery. Uh, for example, one thing that we've recently done is a Frank Lloyd Wright house. And we are really able to help in that situation because we can custom make um, exterior lanterns so they fit the period and the house. And then through that, that's led to you know, other opportunities that are amazing. So, yeah. Good question. So I kind of have a comment and a question for you guys to start okay. off with. So um, first, uh, I mean, as a builder, I've been in the industry a long time and I haven't heard of you guys until Angela joined. So that's mm -hmm. that's the bad news. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is you brought Angela on and she she is well known <laughs> and she is a great networker. So I think that's gonna create some, some new opportunities for you, which is excellent. Um, so my question is for you, you know, when people think of light fixtures, there's sort of a stigma in Milwaukee area uh, because for a long time in the 80s and 90s, everybody used polished brass light fixtures, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I, when I first heard the name Brass Light Gallery, I'm like, oh, who wants brass light fixtures anymore? So how do you guys uh, sort of get the message out that, you know, it's not just your gold polished brass anymore because you guys have different finishes, you have different glass options. How do you get that message out? Yeah, so, I mean, despite all of our fixtures being made of solid brass, we have... How many metal finishes, Angela? 14, 14 metal, metal finishes. finishes. So, thank you. This is uh, an example of our architectural bronze. And you can also see here, there are four different glass samples. So this is just an example of how you end up making the fixture your own. I apologize right. if I talked over you. And I, I wish you could feel how heavy this is because when it's made of solid brass, it makes a difference. So we're able to etch the finish that you're looking for and you end up with a fixture that will last a lifetime. And a lot of times it does become like a family heirloom and our fixtures get passed on. So. Yeah, so um, our, our fixtures are being made to order. Um, all of our customers that um, know that um, and talking to sales that there's a multitude of metal finish, shade options, glass options, 
a lot of our fixtures are modifiable as well. So, you know, the whole nature of our product is that it's very customizable to you as the consumer. So um, while everything starts out shiny brass, we sell very little fixtures that are shiny brass now, because to your sure. point, those are Yeah, and it was more just to kind of point out that sometimes there's a stigmatism on it. Absolutely. And, 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 and it's not because of the quality, but it's just because of the finish, because it got overused. Well, and right. That, and that was just what I was kind of pointing out from an outsider perspective. Yep, and we've thought, well, do we change the name of the company and then lose the name recognition with a lot of customers that we do have? And that's kind of one of those do you or don't eat things, because we've felt the same thing for so long that you know, people automatically think of shiny brass when they think of Brass Lake Gallery, which is a detriment, but then we also have such loyal customers as well that have that name recognition. So it, that makes sense. do you make that change yeah. or not? It's a, it's, a tough, it's a tough decision. Okay, good. Uh, more questions? I do. I have a, I have a kind of a, a follow-up to that. So with you moving into other types of uh, distribution channels with Rinders and, and potentially others, you guys are such a made-to-order and, and, and that sort of thing. How is that going to maybe even lessen your brand a little bit by just having other distribution sites and, and channels in that way? Well, thank you very much for asking, and that's a great question. Even with the Rinders arrangement, our fixtures exterior to be safe take four to six weeks. And so they will still be made to order. You know, you pick the finish, the size, the glass. And um, the wonderful thing about our arrangement with Rinders is the pri the, if, if we work with a landscape architect or a landscaper, the pricing is the same. The contractor pricing is the same whether they go through us or they go through Rinders. And so we have that pricing integrity, which I think is so important. Um, but we still are maintaining that uh, unbelievable uh, fixture quality. <laughs> that, makes sense. Um, that premium fixture. Uh, so it, it, it's an opportunity for us to get in front of people that didn't know that we existed because there is a real need for the quality post lights and pier lights that landscapers are having a hard time finding. Absolutely, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the last year specifically, we've really been um, putting a strong emphasis on the made in the United States, made in Milwaukee aspect of our products. So we've been taking lots of shop floor, uh, shop floor photos, photos of people, metal finishing, cutting, you know, all of the steps of manufacturing the light, and we're blasting that out on social media and on our email marketing. So we're really trying to strongly emphasize we are truly made in Milwaukee. We are a made in USA product, and that's been a huge emphasis the last year. Can you help me better understand your ideal customer? Mm -hmm. You want to touch on my sheet? <laughs> <laughs> well, our ideal customer is somebody that enjoys and appreciates lighting and quality lighting and what a difference it can make. Um, our ideal customer is somebody that has a, a vision of what they're looking for and the information behind it so we can help them pick out the fixture that's perfect for them. So a homeowner, a builder, anyone who uh, really is looking for a quality product and wants it to be perfect. I can tell you I recently installed an alabaster uh, bowl over my dining room table on a dimmer switch. I have it on the lowest setting, and I have it on every night, and it's like a night light for my house, and I absolutely love it. And when I tell that story, I always get such a good reaction, but it's hard to tell that story in like an email or something like that. So as we're talking, I'm thinking maybe we need to be doing more videos that allow us to, to tell a story. You must be looking at my sheet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually my next question. They're, they're coming up there with their own suggestions. Yeah. 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 But, no, that was my, my question is, have you guys considered doing video? Because you have, especially with higher end product, like you have mm -hmm. such a really cool story it's, it's a unique item, it's higher end, and, and everyone kind of, you know, uh, likes watching stuff like that. So have you guys thought about doing videos about your product? And, it has been know. something we've been discussing. We haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but it has been in uh, the conversations with our marketing firm. Okay, good. 
Any last quick questions before we give you guys some advice? I do have another one. Sure. Okay. So I like how you said, I, you know, when people call you, they say, I didn't know you existed. Mm -hmm. How are they finding you when they do find you? They're finding us via uh, Google search in general. Okay. So um, if you search alabaster lighting, we come up number one. If you search made in USA lighting, we're in like the top couple on, on Google. So, um, and then people also, you know, a lot of our fixtures lend themselves to Victorian and Tudor homes. So if you're searching for those, they're finding us via Google search. And um, a lot of people too like drive by and see the sign and then stop in our showroom. And something that is interesting is they are in the process of renaming St. Paul, where we're located, the design district. Oh, oh nice. And okay. so, yeah, we are gonna be on the very east end of the design district. And so we're working with them on how to promote each other and make the most of that um, new district. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're excited to be a part yeah. of that. Good opportunities. Love that. Okay, so we're gonna jump back now to the question that you guys asked so we can kind of turn in and provide you guys some advice. And so your question again was, how do you get more people aware of Brass Light Gallery? Uh, and how do you imp basically improve your awareness and your brand, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. okay, so who would like to start with some advice? I'll start first, because I think that we're all kind of on the same wavelength, and so I want to put it out there first to take claim. Don't look at my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you had mentioned the showroom, and when you talked about the showroom, your eyes lit up, and right away I could tell that your memory went to bringing people through the showroom, showing them behind the scenes what's going on, and then really understanding the value of Brass Light Gallery. My concern is you mentioned East Coast and LA and people who found you via Google search. How do they get that experience? How, they, how do they get to see more of what's going on behind the scenes? I think there's a huge missed opportunity if you're not utilizing video to let others into that experience, bring them through the showroom, doing the tours, and also capturing the memories and the experiences of your clients, your satisfied customers, saying this is the, uh, showing the end product and their satisfaction, excitement over it, and especially as you mentioned, family heirloom. The thought of someone saying, this is something that's gonna be for our home now and for the future homes of our children, that's where you get into the emotional connection and people buy off of emotion, so. Perfect. Thank you, that's very and helpful. And I'll, I'll add on to that because uh, I think, you know, we're on the same wave, wavelength here with the video, but I mean, I can picture something where you have a video, you know, one for the guys and then one for the gals. And what I'm picturing like for the guys is it's hand forged, the old world craftsmanship, made in America, you know, that, that kind of prideful thing, you know, you can kind of pull in like the made in Milwaukee, like Harley, you know, it just gets me excited thinking about it. And so like, that's something I think you guys could do, like have some, you know, video of the shop and then, you know, polishing the brass and stuff like that. I think that'd be so cool. And then again, like Ariel said, you could do something for the ladies, you know, where it's like, okay, it's a family heirloom and it's, you know, jewelry for your home and some stuff like that, kind of get that emotional feel. So I think there's some real good opportunity there. And then of course, going back to the story of, you know, made, it started in a garage, just like all the great companies, you know, yeah. you could do something really cool with that. And I like the two angles. I think that's really helpful. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank what else, you. What other, what I'm going to take a little bit different approach here. Okay. Okay. Um, two parts. First off, definitely video, 100% advocate for that. I mean, that's the way of the world today. But instead of you producing the content, I think you identify your brand ambassadors. And those are your loyal customers that love you, that keep coming back to you, and create a program that rewards them for being your advocate and sharing their experience working with you and the love that they have for the product that you've added to their home and that story. Yes. Let them tell that story on their social media channels, on video and images. Um, I think that's gonna be huge. You're gonna get more exposure, you're gonna get their audience, the people that they hang out with, which is very similar, you know, like-minded individuals mm -hmm. interested in what it is that you're offering. It sounds like a real win-win situation. Absolutely. The other thought I had was, have you considered, and, and going back to the questions, but consider, I'll say, playing with virtual reality or augmented reality and letting people get their product actually visually displayed in their home while they're not even in your, in your showroom. We're aware of that technology, but we have not explored it yet. Can I yeah. just say mind blown? <laughs> I do. That's what I, we do. I still visit people in their home and bring fixtures with me. I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. It'd be pretty neat. Like a yeah. virtual Vanna. Yeah. Virtual Angela. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Scary. All right. Since, Women, since Ariel took mine. <laughs> um, <I feel> like. <laughs> no, but I, what I would say is a couple of things. 
what's already working for you, lean into that big time. Mm -hmm. So if people are finding you by Google, do I'm not a Google SEO. I, I can't even begin to talk that language. Yeah, that's Lori. <laughs> but Lori can. <laughs> So lean into that. Whatever it takes to get you more visits and more visualization there, do that. Also, I just cannot underscore, it, it just keeps coming up in my heart that leaning into those relationships with builders, interior design totally. people, landscape, you have to deepen that relationship. And I even say, as you're doing video, take it from start to finish, all the way to installation. Mm -hmm. And, and bring that thing full circle so everyone can see the 360 degree feeling that they, that they get from start to finish. This is what this product is about. This is, this is, what, it, this is what it's like. And, this is, and then there are people enjoying it in their homes. And, you know, and I think about you know, your, your outside posts, right? As I drive up to my home at night and, and my driveway is lit up with that, with your lighting fixture, I mean, just, I'm entering into my domain that makes me feel warm and safe. Yes. Absolutely. That's good advice. And, and one I'll thing that I'll, I'll pass on, this is kind of a little different thought with the topic, but, you know, we talked about, you know, in, ingratiating yourself with builders and, and architects and things like that. And, you know, one of the challenges that you guys have is that there's a very big player just down the street from you that sells lighting, and they're very well known, and they're very well connected with all the builders. So. You know, now that you're doing the networking, Angela, I think that's, you know, a big opportunity for you to be able to start going and having, you know, buy, buy some builders some coffee and, and bring in that light fixture and talk about how it's made and, and that kind of thing. And, and, you know, as you elevate your brand and people are like, oh, I want, also, you know, for builders, they don't like to change very quickly products. Yes. So sometimes it has to come from the customer. And also the customer comes in and says, I want this really high quality hand forged made in Milwaukee thing. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, uh, me as a builder, I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta start putting this in my house. But, but you, can, you can get on, on in front of that by starting to meet with the builders. And I know you guys are doing a trade show coming up. You join yeah. the Builders Association. You're doing you know, the right thing. So now you just have to start to build those connections and start making the awareness of it. And uh, maybe you can get featured in a parade model or something like that, you know, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. everybody starts to know about you. Yes, thank you. Very, yeah, very you. valuable. Can I just, I just add one more, and it's just a really tiny thing. Sure, story. yeah, more advice, please. Just really remember that this isn't an overnight thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, I mean, it's, it's, you have to do the right activities, all the right things, and over time, this will happen. I mean, I know you, you want to, we all want it to happen yesterday, but. It's not going to happen overnight, and just keep just keep at it because you've got a quality product, and you've been around for 47 years already. You plan on being around for at least another 47 more. Take the time to do it right. Yes, absolutely. To, to add on to that, because we're on the same wavelength here, uh, the the piece of the the right little things, right? Your advocates will come from those who appreciate your custom made, made to order products that are for them based on their vision, what they want. And that piece of connection is something that you want to tap into and will increase the advocacy. I think of, you said four to six weeks, right, before you get the, the deliverable. I think about a thank you video showing their fixture and saying this is coming to you soon. As soon as it's ready to go, this is for you. We're so excited for what this will do for your home or for your building because you know their custom order, which is extremely unique and rare. Most people are just clicking a button online, right? But you're doing custom order. So that thank you and saying this is yours, I just think about what an advocacy piece. I love That'd that cool. idea because they are literally made like just feet from my office so I could follow that process cool. and share that with them. The lighting yeah. lady That's saying, here's I, your yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can even do like, you know, made by, you know, like in a little yeah. card, you know, made by, yeah. you know, Eric or whatever and have it signed. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I yeah, love that. that. I love advice. that. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Anything else? Any other last thoughts? No? I think, think we got some good stuff for you. So what, what did you guys most take away from this? What, what's really jumping out at you that you're excited to work on right away? Well, I think it's the video. I think doing some brainstorming and then finding a video company that would like to work <laughs> with us I think would be wonderful. Um, I can't imagine I, where you might find one of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I, I think that's so important because I, I, when I hear what you're saying, I've heard that before. You know, like I, I tell a story and I, the enthusiasm comes out, but that's hard to come out in a flat picture or 
you know, just a still uh, social media post. And, and we've got such a wonderful story to tell. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think video is the big takeaway. Yeah, it, absolutely. The video and sticking to what works, right? So, you know, we know that we're getting a lot of website traffic through Google searches as well as our, uh, our social media. So really doubling down on that to continue to drive that traffic to our website. Um, I think those two things would, are great, great advice. Thank well, you so much. You're very welcome. So Jeff, Angela, thank you guys for coming out YG Workshop. You guys have a great business and you've got an abundance of opportunities ahead of you. So we wish you the best of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all of you. <laughs> Wonderful time today. Thanks to Angela and Jeff for sitting down on YG Workshop, presented by First Federal Bank and sponsored by Circle Electric and Health Payment Systems. Do you know an entrepreneur that would like to come on the show? Have them visit younggunsmovement.com and apply. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our podcast so that you don't miss a single episode of YGTV. I'm your host, David Bellman, president of Bellman Homes. Thanks to our panel, Lori, Ariel, Mervin, and our entrepreneurs, Angela and Jeff. See you next time.